Ohne NATO-Leben – Ideen zum Frieden Internationales Podium – Ulla Klötze aus Finnland Uh, we are not neutral countries anymore. That's a, a real pity. And to Yuri, I would say I would love to have millions of people on the streets, but we didn't even get 200 for the NATO protest last Sunday. But dear friends of peace, the governments of Finland and Sweden have both applied for NATO membership, hand in hand, as they say, with almost total Uh, support of all the political parties in Finland, which is a shame, also the left party and the Green Party. The enlargement is extremely dangerous, as so many prom prominent persons have stated. It adds tremendously to the nuclear threat. In the debate in the Finnish parliament, our defense minister stated openly, and referring to nuclear weapons, that Finland will not hand over its national decisions to NATO and that it is not necessary to set preconditions for the actual membership to take place. And he stated naively, but I can also say without proclamations that we will not pursue any nuclear weapons on our land, blah, blah. Uh, the director of the Foreign Policy Institute was however very clear on this point in an interview. He said, we want to get under the nuclear umbrella so that nuclear blackmail is not possible, meaning that Russia cannot use the nuclear weapon card to intimidate Finland. Finland's president, Niinistö, more or less confirmed this nuclear umbrella thinking in his speech in the Swedish parliament, May 17th. He quoted the words of US uh, President Harry S. Truman, the only world leader that has ever used the atomic bomb, even twice. Truman spoke to the Congress in March 48 about the role of the US in supporting security and freedom of Europe. He said, Truman said, there are times in world history when it is far wiser to act than to hesitate. There is some risks involved in action. There always is, but there is far more risks in failure to act. So said President Niinistö with Truman's word in the Swedish parliament. Now also Russia is acting. According to news yesterday and today, Russia's defense minister Shoigu announces that new military bases will now be established in the western part of the country, near the Finnish border. 12 new military units and divisions will be established in western Russia by the end of this year. The western dis district of Russia roughly covers the European part of Russia. A new Cold War, extremely colder than the former one and extremely closer to nuclear war, has thus begun. Earlier today, Oscar Lafontaine held a brilliant speech. Uh, he has served, amongst other things, as the federal leader of the Social Democratic Party and as Minister of Finance in Germany. He talked about the era of Willy Brandt, Helmut Schmidt, and to some extent also Angela Merkel, the era of peaceful Eastern policy, Sogenante Ostpolitik. I would like to add the former Prime Minister of Sweden, Olof Palme, who obviously got killed because of his ideals. But especially I would like to remind you about the Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe, the CSCE, that was a key element of the detente process, process during the Cold War. Although it did not have the force of a treaty, it recognized the boundaries of post-war Europe and established a mechanism for minimizing politi political and military ten tensions between East and West. The first phase was the meeting of foreign ministers in Helsinki in 1973. Then negotiations were held in Geneva. And the third phase was the Helsinki summit in 1975. The final document was signed in Helsinki by 33 European nations, the United States and Canada. It is often called the Helsinki Agreement. In 1994, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OSCE, was established as a successor to CSCE. In 1990, the Charter of Paris for a New Europe was published as a follow-up. A wonderful document if you read it really carefully. 
Finland's president Sauli Niinistö now proudly bringing Finland and Sweden into NATO hand in hand without any nuclear uh, 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 demands for being non-nuclear weapons countries announced he announced in spring 2021 his intention to arrange a new Helsinki summit on the 50th anniversary in 2025. He told that the idea had got a lot of support from Moscow, Washington and Berlin. I think he even mentioned Beijing. Now, with Finland's NATO application, Russia would never attend such a summit in Helsinki. A summit is, however, urgently needed. All the things that Yuri mentioned with uh, demilitarization and peace, they will never come true if we don't have a really large conference on that, where also the NGOs would be visible. Is that something we should start pushing for to be arranged in Austria, Switzerland or Ireland? We desperately need a new secur security architecture for Europe, as Oscar Lafontaine so well said in the morning. Without, without, I say, the involvement of the US, let's get rid of NATO and let's get US out of Europe. Thank you. Schreiben Sie uns für Kritiken, Anregungen und Fragen Kongress at Frieden-Links.de. Dieser Beitrag wurde vom YouTube-Kanal Der Rote Platz unterstützt.